Hello there, and welcome to episode 13 in my Vietnam vlog series. A big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I hit my first 200 subscribers last night, so thank you very much. So here's an example of what the weather in Vietnam is like during monsoon season. Serious rain. Anyway, I booked a motorbike tour online so I wanted to explore the city further and my first stop was to a secret weapons bunker. The original owner of the house built the bunker in the 60s which once held over two tons worth of weapons. That car you can see in the background was used to transport weapons to and from the site and there's a lot of original memorabilia seen throughout the place. The tiling is even original for instance. Whenever the south of Vietnam, they knew that they would kill all the family. That is so dangerous. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's so brave, right? We still reserve everything. We don't repaint or don't review. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's like a house. Yeah. And you know what? My mother, she told me when she was a little girl, yeah. every every night. The Vietcong and South and Emily, they fought, they fought together. Yeah. And the, city, the normal citizens, they heard a lot of bombs. Bomb yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so scared, but every night they fought, fought together. And this is where Vietcong stay and Vietcong live, Vietcong yeah. work. visited a monument in respect to the Buddhist monk Thich Quan Duc. Many years ago in Vietnam there was a lot of hostility towards Buddhists. A celebration turned into bloodshed when nine people lost their lives. Thich Quan Duc set himself alight and sacrificed his own life in protest to these atrocities. It was said that he meditated throughout the whole experience and did not move an inch despite being engulfed in flames. His body was later cremated but his heart remained intact and did not burn. His heart, deemed to be holy, was recovered from his body and is now placed behind glass in a pagoda. It's been said that images released of Thich Quan Duc's self-immolation was what led to America being involved in the Vietnam War. My hand is the, the lotus. The lotus represents for Buddhism. Mm -hmm. yeah. We also pick the monk, even the children. And this is Thich Quan Duc. With the big fire, big flame, yeah. And this is the car, the car, the car threw him to this intersection. Mm -hmm. And until now, we still reserve the car oh, in okay. Hue City. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's have the blue color in Hue City. Yeah. yeah. And this is the big circle made from the monk to brought take headquarters against uh, the secret army. Uh. 
Next, I set off to explore some local markets. I just love the sign on the Texas chicken shop. So we have the purple and the white color for funeral. Yeah. All the stuff for wedding, holiday. This is the Cambodia market. Yeah, Cambodia market. Oh. And when you stay here, you can see how the local life they have. You can buy jewelry here as well. Yeah. <laughs> can you get the chicken bits? I tried it by accident. I thought it was chicken wings when I ordered it. Uh, and I got beat. I was like, uh, I don't mm. like it. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, you, I like it. Oh, really, no. really love it. Uh. You know what? When I have a drink with my friends, I can eat 10 chicken bits. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Just walked through the flower market. Yeah, and now we are in the flower market. Now we are back in yeah. the flower market. Just came from the Cambodian market. Yeah. <laughs> was to a Chinese style temple. Your right side is district 10. On your left side, district 5. Oh. Yeah. come here and they burn it instant we can release the smoke this area for the rock she can come down come down closer and receive our wishes the pink paper they will write down the name of how much money they donated for the chair the, the temple okay That's easy to recognize so yeah total for longevity longer life and the last one Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix for money. Oh, money for uh, beauty. Oh, okay. for queen. Oh. For the bees. See, you can see. This is on, on the left side. Is the smallest one. I did want to get some sugar cane juice, but the owner was not around, so we headed off to another shop. As you can see, this machine makes the freshest of sugar cane juice. Just lickety go! Uh -huh. 
Big thanks to Jasmine for showing me around the city, it was an amazing tour. That is the end of this vlog, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.